Today, I'm going to show you how to draw an eye like this one. First, you need to get a good reference. Now, if you have that sorted, let's get to work. Honestly, you can use any paper you want for this, and there's tons of great options out there, but for realism, toned paper seems to work best. Next, get your sketch ready and start drawing. One thing you need to understand though is that realism requires a bit of patience. For example, you should take some time to analyze your reference. Try to find all the highlights in your image, then do the same for the midtones and then the shadows. Also, if your pencils look anything like this, then get them all sharp way in advance. It really helps later. Additionally, for best results, make sure to switch between different pencils quite frequently. This will help make the colors look a lot more realistic. And you probably know this, but you're more likely to mess up a drawing if you're tired, so don't stay up too late. Instead, just get back to it in the morning when you have more energy. But even then, some mistakes just can't be avoided. And it's okay. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Stupid! Well, it can be a pain to erase wax-based pencils like Prismacolor, for example, but there is a way. Electric erasers like this one are a massive lifesaver. They do exactly what they're supposed to and really improve your workflow. Don't waste your time like I did and get it now. Another important thing is blending. And for that, I created this little ebook, which you can download for free using the link in the description. It includes a bunch of useful tips I use in my own drawings, so feel free to take advantage of it. Now, let's get back to work. Drawing for a few hours straight can also get quite boring sometimes, so do what you need to do to keep yourself entertained and take frequent breaks from your desk or whatever. The next thing is to use a kneaded eraser every now and then to keep both your drawing and your hand nice and clean. Also, I can't stress this enough, but make sure to always keep your pencil sharp. It makes a big difference. And lastly, use a fine liner or a white pen to add accents to your drawing. This will make the highlights brighter and the shadows darker. Your art will then pop and look 10 times better. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye!